Andre Wade was just released once again. Just come to talk about some things. Uh, sitting out here relaxing and uh, praying that peace is upon your families and the loved ones that's incarcerated. I was uh, I was watching Monday Night Football, and then they was they was doing the thing on on uh, Wade Phillips. Uh, I remember a time when I was incarcerated, and these are some of the things that goes on in the institution too. They have a lot of like programs, like uh, when I was on the Hughes unit, they had Warden Scott over there, uh, Edie I mean, they called him, and uh, he was the head warden. And, and, and at that time, when he was the head warden over there, he, he had like the, uh, the highest parole percentage of, of, of that facility, of that region at that time. And, 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 and it was a good facility because uh, Warden Scott, he was a spiritual man. He was a godly man, and, and he had a lot of programs that, that went on on his units, you know. And I'll never forget, uh, I had an opportunity to, uh, to meet uh, Bomb Phillips, uh, Wade Phillips' father. You know, he had, uh, he had became a, a Christian. And then I and we talked, we sat there because they had like the, the uh, Bill, Bill, I mean, was it Bob Glass or something like that type of program? And, and, and he was in that program. And then they used to travel throughout the world, you know. Uh, they was like a Christian base and they had all different types of uh, uh, visitors that would come with them. They had motorcycle gangs, they, they had. Uh, weightlifting guys, you know, and they, they had a lot of types of uh, 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 Christian people that was in their program, and uh, Barn Phillips was one of them, and, and, and I, I mean, we had an opportunity to sit and talk, and, and I was telling him about the time when he was the head coach of the Houston Oilers, and how, you know, and when they was uh, uh, playing against Pittsburgh that year in, in, in the playoffs, and they lost, and they came back to the Dome, when you know, my family and I, we was all there, you know, and, and he was talking about, he said that, you know, this year we knocked on the door, next year we're going to kick, kick the kick the song, we're going down, and he was just laughing because, you know, he had opportunity to meet somebody that, that uh, was there at the Astrodome that night, you know, and, and how them days was, but he was, uh, he was fighting for the orders, and then, then he was fighting for Jesus, you know, that was, that was, you know, it was an experience that I experienced while being in prison, having an opportunity, you know, to, to go to a lot of those programs, man, and, and you know, and that's what, that's what you have to do. You have to, you know, uh, involve yourself in a lot of things that they have to offer in prison, you know. Uh, and so much that, that they had to offer, I, I remember opportunity that I had also to uh, get into a program, and, and it was it was like some some weeks that you that you go, you know, and when you be given certificates and stuff, and and I had the opportunity to meet the uh, the guy. I have to look it up. I forgot the name of the uh, program, but 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 the program had started in like uh, uh, in Florida, I believe it was, and where his. Uh, he had a twin. He had a sister. He had a twin sister, and they was very close. And, and she ended up getting killed, you know, robbed, raped, and everything, and killed. And, and it shot him. It shot him. And he was like a millionaire at the time. And, and he went into a depression, and and, and he lost everything. And, and after he come out of that depression, you know, God brought him out of it, and and, and he started this program, and and he had it. Uh, more people it was in his organization was, was victims, people that had loved ones, you know, killed or, or robbed in that nature. And then and, and that was the that was the most uh, emotional experience, one of the emotional experiences I ever had by being incarcerated, you know, because uh, I, I met a lot of people that, you know, had forgiven the people that had wronged that they loved ones and, and what they would do is you know, you can uh, uh, set up visits. You know, with the vic, with the uh, uh, with the criminals, and, and 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 one of the ladies I met, her, uh, the they uh, her daughter had got uh, killed, I believe, right here in Houston, and and uh, raped and robbed and killed, uh, and uh, and she left behind a daughter, and and her and her daughter 
had went inside the facility. I think he was on Conley unit that they went and 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 visit the guy that killed. The, you know that did this. One of the guys, it was, I think it was like three of them, and and they went and and they visit this guy, and and they relationship became a bond, and and and, and they adopted this 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 man as a son, and and it was there for him his his rest of the time, the rest remaining his sinners. And he made parole and everything, and they was there for him and everything. And and I think at first, you know, her sons, you know, it was hard for them to accept that. But uh, through general, through time, they they ended up accepting them also, you know. And and that's just one of the things that that take place in in in, in the lives of, uh, of of victims and in, in the lives of criminals, you know, these kind of things and these kind of uh, organizations that's being put together. And, and going inside these institutions throughout the world that's that's visiting these convicts because you know a lot of times you know we be on drugs and stuff you know us criminals and, and we be uh we be in that, in that mindset where we 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 don't care we don't even you know if you don't care about somebody else it's totally impossible for you to care about yourself you know i was thinking about the times when i used to go and I used to rob, and I used to rob dope houses, and I used to rob, you know, them, them, them type of individuals. Not knowing, you know, knowing, knowingly that I, I could lose my life, but, but still, yet still, I would, I would go and do this here, not caring about my life, and, and, I, and it took time in order for me to realize this, that, that I didn't even care about myself, not less known someone, someone else, and, and that was, that was amazing to me. Because, like I say, when I was when I was serving this time, and like I say, I didn't commit two of the robberies. Two of the robberies, you know, two of my homeboys had had committed, and and I wouldn't tell on them. And 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 so I was I was convicted. I won the jury trial, and I lost I lost uh, the robbery that I did, and I lost the two robberies that I didn't do. And 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 even right now today, you know. Some people, when I tell them that, they say, come on, Dre, come on, Dre, you ain't do the robberies. And, and I didn't do the robberies, you know, and, 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 and it really doesn't matter. And in a sense that it does, because at that time I was like 24, 25 years old. And, and, and I turned to 25 by, you know, when I, when I was incarcerated. I got locked up at 24 and I turned 25 in the months that it took in order for them to give me the sentence that they had given me. And and I look back up on them years. I look back on all those years that I did and and, and, and I look at today. I look at today, you know, where I'm at and where I'm trying to get. And I just thank God, you know, I thank God for uh for his mercy and I thank God for the uh the the victims of uh, 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 my viewers because you know, not only do you have loved ones that's incarcerated, but I, I feel that it's victims that, that had wrong things done to them or wrong things done to their loved ones. And and and, and, and that's our God, you know, that's our God that that, that takes favor in, in, in these kind of times, you know. And and, and, and and I think about how graceful it is to be able to, to speak out. You know, because, you know, you have you have some, you know, inmates that gets out and, and, and they have this, this kind of idea in their hearts and they have it in their mind. But when they get back on these streets, you know, it, it be a, it's, they do something different. And, 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 and that's why I was speaking on the fact that correspondence plays a, a major role in, 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 in dealing with our loved ones that's incarcerated because we want them to, to, to get out and keep that, that, that same dream, we want them to keep, get out and keep that, that same mindset that they had because, you know, a lot of us, we, 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 find, we find God in, inside these prisons. And, you know, you have some people in society that feel like you can't find God anywhere. And, and that's not true because you can find God anywhere. You know, I told, I told you about the story on how uh, the guy, uh, he was walking with Jesus, and he had come to this corner, and he heard a bunch of things going on. So he told Jesus, he say, he say, hold up, Jesus. He said, I'll be right back. And he said, I'm going to see what's going on down here. So he went down to go find out, 
and end up uh, staying 15 years of his life inside a prison, going seeing what that commotion was about, all that noise was about, which wasn't about nothing. So when he when he did serve the 15 years and he got out, and, 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 and he went back, he said, I wonder if Jesus is still alive. And so he went there, Jesus was still alive. And he said, man, he said, man, you mean to tell me you was here all these years? And Jesus told him, he said, son, he said, I never did go nowhere. And, 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 that, and that's just one of them stories where we, we learn why, by doing time that, that when we out here, even though we, we, we lose Jesus, and, and when we lose that, that praying emotional thought that he is still allowed, even whatever we go through, he is still allowed for us. We always can go to him. And that's for the victims and, 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 and the, uh, the convicts because that's, a, that's, what we, that's all we have to hold on to. That's all we have to hold on to. And, 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 and that's what I hold on to. And, and, and it, which is one of the reasons why I don't crave for a lot of things. I don't. It, it, it's, it's some things I just don't crave for that I used to crave for when I first had gotten out, and, and things was going so good for me. I, I, I totally went away from from where my heart was set to be, and and so that's when I started YouTube, and I was doing it, and I was doing it. Then I fell out. I fell out back into that life of drugs, you know. Uh, having that craving and you know that craving lies within us and, and yet we still you, you would think that after doing 20 something years in prison you wouldn't have that kind of crave anymore but that's not true because it, it, it can happen to anybody it happened to me you know and, and, and I'm just I'm speaking out because you know I don't have you know anything totally to hide of, of my past and, and what took place of uh, of my future while being out here right now, you know, because we, you know, we all fall back, you know, and, and it's, it's, the, it's the fall back and stumbling and getting back up what counts, because if, if you don't fall, then, you know, how can you realize on how to get up, you know, you, we, have to, we have to realize that, that, that the falls, downfalls take place in our lives. And you don't have to be a criminal to experience this downfall. You know, you can you can have a a, a damn good job and, and start doing so much to to the point where you just feel like it's all you and and, and the God that you was praying to ain't had nothing to do with it. Well, that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Because it's our God, the God that we pray to, that that that, that blesses us in a manner that that's untold, unfold, that you, you never knew that, that, that could come out of, of, of the blessings that, that he creates upon us. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, speak on that and a little bit of everything that I that, that's taking place in my life and, and up to today, you know, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm in that, I'm in that, and I'm in that state where I, I would like to uh, uh, allow this here, what I'm doing right now, to 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 grow to it to an extreme that that's that's unheard of, and, and you know, and this is why I, I try to stay positive and and, and, and just allow uh, freedom to to latch on to my my locked up soul, you know, because I had a a, a locked up life, and, and 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 it's something that I'm not gonna be able to forget, and and, and I'm gonna share it. You know those locked up thoughts, them locked up dreams that I that I that I experienced with you guys, and, and you know, and it's just I, I I love the comments that that you all place out there for me, and I I enjoy I enjoy going through them and I read them. You know, I read I do this daily, I do this at night when I when I'm just laying there or doing anything, not doing anything. I I review my comments because it's the comments that's the inspiration. Of, of everything that I do on a daily basis so you know I'm, I'm just you know uh, expressing some things that's that's coming up on my heart and, and, and it has to come out because you know uh, these things have to be spoken these things have to be heard to someone that's got that's having a, 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 a hearing ear they want to hear and they want to better try to better they self and, and they look at these shows and then they, they try to reach out to some of the uh, the things that people are talking about 
that's on these shows. So, and we have to be careful on the things that we say on these shows because, like I say, you got a you got a, a, a ear that's hearing and a mindset that's willing to take uh, what you have to offer. So I pray that uh, what I'm offering is, is a help to to so many of you and you know all of you, you know, and even you know the, the negative. Uh, comments you know I, I i look over them and and i, and I appreciate the negative comments because it, it it says something that's that that they watching they watching and they taking in the things that i'm expressing so they all right with them too so once again this is andre way with just release and i'll be back with something else ah.